Hi, my name's Dave Luke, and I want to show you my chicken coop. Uh, kind of a little chicken coop tour here. We'll also call my flock in so that you can see them. Uh, we have a wide range of chickens. Uh, we have 34 different breeds. Um, these are definitely our pet chickens, and they are just a, a real fun to have. Over the last two years, I've built 24 different types of coops, uh, mostly to help people get started uh, with their backyard chickens. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, bring the camera outside now, and uh, we'll call our flock in. Uh, my flock usually seeks shelter, so they're underneath my deck. It doesn't take very much to call them in. Uh, so we will get some treats for them. We'll keep filming and we'll watch them uh, come from basically all four corners of the yard. Come on, girls. Come on, Purdy. Come on, girls. Come on. Come get your watermelon. Another favorite treat of theirs is American cheese. Uh, sometimes I can get them to jump the treats. We'll see how that goes. Who's going to jump the treats? Of course, Joe always likes cheese too. Love jumping for American cheese here. There we go. A little piece for Joe. He's a good dog too. He gets along really good with our flock. And uh, we also give him um, every once in a while. We'll, we'll give him a fresh piece of corn, which is good for him. Hi, uh, we're back again. This is a chicken tractor that most people commonly know as. We raised 25 meat chickens in here last year. Um, I basically built this out of scrap wood that I found around the yard in parts and pieces. I think we constructed this for less than $50. Um, it has a side entrance door here so that I can put the water in their feed in it. And I also have a, uh, a rear door here so I can check on the flock. Again, this was really built for meat chickens, but you can use a small flock in it. The nice thing is that you can just each day push it along and creep it along so that they're in fresh grass. So again, most people when they think of a chicken tractor, this is what they think of. Hello, this is our uh, barn that I built uh, about two years ago. It's constructed by using two um, trusses from a, a barn kit. Uh, the barn itself is made out of OSB. Uh, it was pretty affordable to build. Uh, it was also a fun project. It took me about a month to build this coop. Uh, we also added the silo to the side of it, which is also a chicken run. We use this barn pretty much for uh, introducing new birds to our flock. And we also raise bantams in here uh, seasonally. Uh, it is used uh, year round. Um, and it, Again, was a pretty fun project to build. Maybe at some uh, later time, I'll show you how to build a silo in the barn. Um, it was, uh, again, a very fun project to build. Uh, next to the barn, we have a large chicken run that connects uh, this tan barn to it. The back half of the tan barn is actually my winter coop. Uh, it's an insulated box. You can't see it too well from the front. But when we get around the corner, you'll see that uh, my chickens roost around uh, eight feet off the ground every night. Um, we kind of laugh when we see chicken coops with ramps. We always wonder why people add ramps to their coops. Uh, my chickens all fly, and uh, we have plenty of roost bars for them in here. And uh, they spend most of their, their evenings and their winters in this other barn over here. This is uh, just a couple of poles in the ground. 
that um, has chicken wire on it. We also built the lean to off the top. Um, even the coldest day of February, my hens are usually um, on these roosts uh, with no form of uh, heat at all. They seem to be pretty happy and content. We do have some uh, lighting in here and a couple spots that we can plug in for heaters. I use this trash can to keep their feed. Um, we currently use egg laying uh, mix and some scratch mixed together. We also maintain a flock list here of all my hens. So if a hen or uh, one of my roosters is missing, it gives me uh, an easy way to, to know who's missing. This is the uh, other end of the uh, chicken run uh, that connects the uh, bantam barn to the winter coop. As you can see, I have a nine gang um, egg box. It was kind of an overkill. I, I have 34 hens and normally they lay in two or three of the boxes every day. So uh, one thing I, I quickly learned, I did not need as many hen boxes as I built. This cage to the end is kind of a multi-purpose cage. We transition the chicks after they're fully feathered here. We have some uh, heat lamps in here, and they will stay in here for about two months, and then we will transition them to the flock. We've also used this cage as a uh, chicken triage. So if we have a, an injured bird, uh, we can certainly put it in there and, and um, nurse it back to good health. Uh, we are also have a broody hen in here. Uh, this week, uh, one of our friends gave us some um, bearded silky eggs to hatch out. So as you can see, we have a uh, hen in here who is more than willing to sit on some eggs. She gets a little noisy if you pet her. You know, you can hear uh, she kind of has a weird scowl there. But this uh, cage at the rear uh, has come in very handy. We built this uh, coop uh, originally. This was one of our very first coops that we built. This We took four feet out of our tool shed and we uh, made a wall in there. We also insulated it. My older hens like to hang out here both in the winter and the summer. The summertime we leave the door open. Uh, the winter time we have this plexiglass door that slides up and down. Uh, we call that a guillotine door just because it slides up and down. Uh, I built an access door here and I can also get into the tool shed through another door in here. This is the inside of our coop. As you see we have a hen that's roosting pretty high up in the bars. Um, at night we, we probably have 20 hens in here. We also have a heat lamp. We have uh, some natural light uh, with a mirror that reflects the light into the coop. We also have a, another nesting box which helps the eggs from freezing in the winter time from not freezing in the winter time. And um, this has been very handy to have. Even my, my biggest chickens roost pretty hot, high at night. Again, you can see there's absolutely no ramps. They are able to climb this ladder with ease. This is a chicken brooder. Uh, we use this for hatching out um, eggs. Many times people will give us fertilized eggs. Uh, we have a hen in here right now, and she's uh, kindly sitting on 12 eggs in there. Uh, she will hatch those out. The chicks will then be able to come into this uh, portion of the coop, and then the process starts all over again. Girls getting down on the farm. Ain't no closing time. Ain't no cover charge, just country boys and girls getting down on the farm.